okay uh, now let's go to topic here creation of cost center standard hierarchy actually um, there's nothing much we need to do here because when we enter the standard hierarchy in the um, creation of a controlling area we have already created the standard hierarchy let me show you that let me go to SPRO you see this maintain controlling area click this and controlling area go to the controlling area double click Can you see this since you have already mentioned the cost center standard hierarchy CTR stands for cost center standard hierarchy the system would have already created the standard hierarchy automatically and uh, assign the cost centers that we have created under the standard hierarchy let me open up the slide here slide as you can see here the cost centers should be positioned under the standard hierarchy so doesn't check you come to accounting controlling Cost center accounting data standard hierarchy change. This is the reason why there's no create button. As you can notice, there's no create option here. The same area has to be created in the cost in the when you define the controlling area over here. So this is the creation. Now let us go in again. You see this? This is the standard hierarchy and you can see all departments cost center that we have created under this standard hierarchy. Right? The reason why this is this cost centers are automatically assigned to uh, this standard hierarchy is because if we go to the cost center master data, you can go by double clicking here or let me just show you. can't see all the information here let me check if we can go there okay not all the cost center master data is viewable here so let us go to that There's no zoom button to go to the cost center from here, so let us go using the norm way. Create a session. I think I should have checked this. Let me just check that. Uh, that can be used to zoom into the cost center master data. Let me try this. Okay. Zoom. see what it shows It'll take a while oh no you can only zoom on the cost center group okay now mind let's go to the new session that we opened just now go here go here go here go here go here go here and change Department one, the center already locked because when you have opened the standard hierarchy view, it is it is opening the cost center in a change mode. So that's why it's saying that it's already been locked. So we just go for display mode. Press center. Alright. What I was trying to tell you is that can you see this hierarchy area? 
when we created this call center we mentioned as hierarchy as sun so that's why it's automatically that this department is positioned under the standard hierarchy sun so can we change this let's reorder this let's create one more group call um, let me see what we can call it call it as uh, let's call it um, Okay, uh, you go here, position the pointer here, and then go here and create a lower group. We're just creating a group. Name it as. You see this uh, three boxes sign here. If you see this uh, three boxes sign here, it's known as hierarchy. That means any hierarchy will have uh, individual sub items under the hierarchy. So name this as. Uh, uh, what do you call that uh, general department okay general departments all right and uh, press enter then I'm going to move department 1 and department 2 under this group let's see what happens all right now I'm going to track this and drop it here so essentially department 1 will come under uh, group general departments all you have to do is just track and drop let me save this all right now let me go to this click call center Go back and I'm going to display it again. You see this hierarchy area has been changed to GEN, which means since you have track and drop it under general uh, hierarchy, it has changed here as well. So, but it does not show the sun hierarchy here because this field here will always show the immediate parent of the department immediate parent of the call center so this parent is actually is not a immediate parent for department because it is a parent's parent okay son is a parent's parent so this son hierarchy will not be shown here just remember this rule is the in this field under the call center mouse data always you will show the immediate parent of the call center all right if you move this back to sun then this will change to sun again mm, all right um, so if you zoom into this hierarchy area you can see two entries sun and a general see this because general is something that he created just now all right that's good enough now um, the the reason why we are organizing the call centers in a hierarchical view is that so that um, we can actually have a bird's eye view of ho how the call centers are organized in a company all right so but these groups need not have a identical or a physical entity in your company these groups are used for reporting purposes so you can create as many groups as you want to group these call centers for your own view you need not have an identical organization entry or entity exists in your company what needs to what needs to be exist in a company is a, a call center itself so these departments or these call centers will have a one-to-one -one mapping with the actual departments you have in a company but not the hierarchy okay all right so far so good Just checking you can ignore this information is uh, too much for you to uh, understand right now so all we need to know is that the call centers can be arranged into a hierarchy and you can create as many hierarchies as you want to represent a logical view for your 
for your reporting purposes and the T code that you'll use for that is OKEON alright just drag and drop if you want to create a new group under this just proceed by using this small icon here lower group or group at the same level lower group will be a child of this general group or if you want to create a, a child of sun group just use group at the same level so it will create another group over here if you want to delete any of the groups just use this delete button or if you want to copy you can use this all right so far so good this is to in assign this is one level up all right this is just a na navigation tools that you have nothing more than that all right so far so good just come back what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to put back the department 2 um, we can just leave it as it is doesn't really matter okay just leave this department over here under the general departments okay um, now I think we have completed our topic here we'll go to the next topic which is the actual postings to cost center what you have covered so far is the creation of the cost center and hierarchy okay the difference between cost center groups and uh, standard hierarchy is nothing much except that it is two different grouping altogether so the cost center group that you create here is actually an extra level of uh, grouping in addition to the standard hierarchy grouping used for reporting purposes there is no much difference actually whatever that you create in the standard hierarchy will also be shown under the cost center group okay so it's two different way of create uh, arranging the cost centers into a group see just now you created a general general hierarchy right in using the standard hierarchy that is created in the cost center group as well alright this is something that you need to know and uh, let us go to the root one sun and we will display the hierarchy now you can see the identical view as the standard hierarchy so there is no much difference display see this whatever they create here will also be reflected in the cost center group there is no difference if we change here that will be also changed here as well.